What's up, you guys? So today we're doing a college tour in Las Vegas at UNLV. So yeah, I just want to introduce y'all. So yeah, let's get into it. My name is Nyla, if you don't know me. Hello. And I'm your tour today. Your tour guide today. Let's get it. Says she flirt with her boyfriend, budging him of money and bling, so she go bed with him. Catch disease. No Damn, Zeus, you too cold, bro. What you doing? Eating and drinking. Me and my friends come here. We will go get food, maybe in and out or raising canes, which are nearby. Come here, have a study session in the library in the group study room. Totally chill. Okay, so as you can see, our library is five floors tall. But before I get to all the other stuff up there, let me just talk about the first floor right here. So on our first floor, we have our circulation. First week here, you know where the library is, but maybe you don't really know where your class is. You can search for the building that's called right here. Academic success tutoring, completely free for UNLV students. They offer tutoring for various subjects like biology, physics, math, English, whatever it is you need it. It's up there, it's free on the second floor. Okay, <clears throat> then we'll stop here at our makerspace. So, our makerspace right here, as you guys can see, it's a pretty cool room. You can do lots of cool stuff in here like 3D print, laser etching, vinyl cutting. Now it's free for students, but you do have to watch about like a half an hour, 45 minute safety video because the machines are pretty expensive. But if 3D printing is your thing, this is totally where it is because it is much cheaper to come here, watch the videos, pay for the materials. I believe it's about $5 a gram than to completely buy a setup yourself and start 3D printing. Now, is anyone here interested in like podcasting or making like a YouTube channel?
Somebody has to build that stage, you know, to move, but it's also got to be safe and functional. Entertainment engineer. Mm. As we walk past right here, you see these canoes on the ground. This is known as our canoe graveyard. So, at the end of the year, a bunch of students from student organizations take it, work on a canoe, and they build it out of concrete. And then their final project is they take that concrete canoe and they take it to Lake Mead. Right, we have our theater. On my left, we have our concert hall. But before I start talking about that, does anyone want to take a guess what the big structure is behind me? Like a good guess. Not exactly. It looked like a chess piece. Flashlight. It's a flashlight. flashlight. It's kind of on the side. But the cool thing it's about it, like... it is not a flashlight that points directly up to the sky. <laughs> Creator's wife actually thought it would be too cliche to make a flashlight that points directly the sky. So instead, this flashlight points down into the ground. So during the nighttime, these panels over here light up. Here on our right is our theater. Our theater department typically puts on about six to ten plays a year. I believe they do discounted tickets for UNLV students. And then on our Yeah, I gotta catch up. I'm out of bed. Oh, school books. Looks so pretty. I can't really see me. Yeah, so lots of times they'll have classes where like you know you need to prepare a dish, 
cooks them up. They'll grade you off of that. Guy Perry also is a pretty prominent UNLV alumni. He often works out in the spaces right like here. Over here, I know they put on a wine and beverage class. You do have to be 21 to take that class, but I know they taste different drinks and stuff like every, every week. They explore it. It's pretty cool. And now we will... should take a picture on both hands. I guess it was this time. So you guys, this is the view. That's the strip over there. And that tall building over there. That's the stratosphere where you can eat and you can revolve around the building. Look at all the people. But you can't just simply enter. Yeah, you can enter. Yeah, you can so this is our dating complex. Right here is our front desk. Each complex will have their own front desk, so if you ever lose your rebel card, you can come to the front desk, ask for a temp card, and you'll be entered back into your room. They're here from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And so if you ever need them, they'll be there for you to offer, ask any questions, offer you any pool equipments, or let's say you have any mail questions, they can answer them for you. Over here, residential life coordinator, there'll be one in every single building, and so those are people who manage the RAs and will pretty much oversee the building. And there'll be one for every complex. Does anybody have any questions so far? Uh, Alright, then we'll continue on. These mailboxes on your left right here are no longer in use. Instead, we use these things called Amazon lockers. So when you receive mail, you will receive a code in your email to go to the Amazon, Amazon locker and pretty much unlock it. So the Amazon locker will be right here, and if you ever want to check out like the pool equipment that I said earlier, you can come to the front desk and get that pool equipment so you can play here in the study lounge. And there's a study lounge on every building and every floor in, every, in one of our halls. And then we're going to come this way. It's toasty in here. Our, your laundry room or the laundry room for Dayton will be on the left for South Complex. So this is our showroom. Feel free to look around. Anything that says open me, you can open. Six nights.